Hold up, hold up, hold up. Sebastian takes the basics of Amazon to a whole new level in this video series. He talks about piggybacking and ASIN. Essentially what you're gonna be doing 95% of the time, unless you're creating a private label listing or a brand new wholesale listing that doesn't exist on Amazon. You are going to be taking an ASIN from a product that people are already selling, pasting that into your add a product tab, and then creating your unique merchant SKU. He goes over the process we use to track all of our inventory with a specifically designed merchant SKU. And it's four basic things that are included in that merchant SKU. It's the date that item was purchased, it's the price that you paid for the total listing, it's the distributor initials, and the distributor's item number. And what this information will allow you to do is at a quick glance, you will be able to see the pertinent information that will allow reordering and ordering this product much easier. It will streamline your efficiencies and it will also let you see any red flags that may come up when you're purchasing that same product from a same distributor or a different distributor and all of a sudden it comes back $5 higher that may mean there's an issue with your distributor's invoicing. And you'll be able to ask them, hey, I just got this product three weeks ago from another distributor, but I paid $4, and now you're saying it's coming in at nine. Is there an issue with this pricing? And they may say, absolutely so, yeah, I made a mistake. Let me recorrect that invoice for you. He also goes over a game-changing secret that I've never heard anybody discuss before. It's how we find consistently and repeatedly out of stock listings on Amazon. So when you search Amazon by a UPC or a description, only products that are in stock and have sellers listed on them will populate. But we have a trick that we use in the add a product tab. We search by a UPC, makes all the other listings populate, and when we search, by a description makes all the other listings populate that are out of stock currently. So we're able to capitalize on those listings and you're gonna be able to capitalize on those listings that are selling two, 300 units a month usually, but right now they're out of stock. You're gonna be able to bring them back to life. He takes the basics of Amazon to a whole new level in this video. I'm so excited for you to learn how we operate and manage our SKUs and how we organize our SKUs. It is going to change your life, whether you're creating them through a third-party software or directly on Amazon. You wanna organize your SKUs, and this video series shows you exactly how to do that. Enjoy, stay lit. So here we're going to cover how you can use your SKU to quickly identify and then replenish a product.